You're watching Fox 56 News first at 10. The Scranton Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders have returned back to Pennsylvania after a long road trip. Fox 56 Sports Director Bob Eide was at PNC Field this afternoon and tells us how the team is doing so far this season. The Scranton and Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders are back home after the longest road trip of the season and with the best record in the International League. On their trip, they went 9-1 and one and everyone has contributed. It really seemed like every single player on this team was a part of every win and that was the most special thing. The pitching was dominant, it was absolutely outstanding and the offense, every single day they come together a little more and somebody's contributing but most of all they're contributing together and it really showed this trip. Yeah, it was pretty fun, you know, uh, it was uh, warm weather down there, you know, but we could pull out with six, uh, six wins, you know, good hitting, good pitching, you know, all around, all week long, played really good baseball. I think we just have a really good group of guys that we have fun, we have a lot of fun in the clubhouse, so once we get out to the field, we could all just be ourselves and play loose, um, and we just find a way to win baseball games. If we're not swinging it, we're going to try to lay some bunts down, we're going to try to steal some bases, uh, we're doing a very good job at that right now, so that's all we're trying to do. It begins with the starting pitching for the Rail Riders. As a staff, they own the best ERA in the league with Clayton Beater, Will Warren, and Edgar Barkley, all with an ERA under three. Everybody's, I feel like our pitching staff is firing on all cylinders. The bullpen's pitching well. Um, we're getting a lot of quality starts out of all of our starters, and I think overall we're just filling it up and being competitive and keeping our, our, our team in games. If When the starters are getting, um, you know, they get on a roll and, they get through six innings, five innings through a quality start. I think that sets the tone for the bullpen to come in and keep it going. The Rail Riders as a team are 13th in the league in hitting, but they own the most stolen bases. Everson Pereira has eight home runs coming into tonight, and Caleb Durbin leads the team in hitting. If everybody put, puts do their part and pick up their, their, their slack, um, I feel like we're always going to have a good, good showing because our lineup is really deep, like you said. From top to bottom, like we can all do damage and, and have really good at bats and put pressure on the pitcher. So, the Rail Riders are home for a six game sleep against Rochester, looking to carry on the momentum they had on the road to improve on their five and six record so far this season here at PNC Field. When you go out on the road, uh, you know, we've been fortunate enough to play in some, you know, full stadiums, some really lively uh, environments. Um, and we come back here, and, you know, sometimes early in the week here, it's a peaceful feel. And, you know, guys are relaxed at home. They're getting comfortable unpacking their suitcases, and um, we're gonna we're gonna figure this one out. And hopefully, it starts today. Bob Ide, Fox 56 Sports. Tonight, the Rail Riders lost to the Red Wings. The two teams will play a school day tomorrow morning, starting at 11:05. Gone are the days 